I love yesterday with Ms. Clark, you talked about story elements and the importance of putting them in order when we're retelling a story. You also had a chance to color your retelling ribbon. You will need your retelling ribbon today and most of this week, so always make sure it's nearby. Today, I'm going to read you the first story in a series of stories about some animals on a farm. You might know this book, which is great. I'm going to read it to you, and then we're going to practice retelling it with an adult or someone who's near us. So the story that we're going to read today is Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. There are lots of silly stories about this farm and the interesting things that go on with the animals in Farmer Brown. Today we're going to just read this one book, but the rest of this week we're going to explore lots of books about this farm. So again, have this ready and enjoy our book, Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. Click clack moo, cows that type. Click clack moo, cows that type. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type all day long. He hears click clack moo, click clack moo, clickety clack moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We would like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows wrote that. It was bad enough that the cows had found a typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So. The cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. Mm. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed, no milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. They are busy. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for our electric blanket. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for duck to come with the typewriter. Let's get all those animals with those blankets. The next morning he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. Who is the typewriter now? <laughs> Those ducks. The 
end. Now that you listen to the book, we're going to use our retelling ribbon to retell this story together. So today will be a little bit of guided practice, but soon you're going to do it by yourself. So the first thing on our retelling ribbon is the setting. What was the setting of our story? Yes, the farm or the barn or Farmer Brown's house. That was the setting. And so you told me the where. What about the when? Hmm. Yes, some of it took place during the day, like when they're typing. But then when the cows are meeting in the barn, it took place at night. Who are some of the characters in the story? Yes, some of the characters, uh, there's a whole lot of characters, aren't there? But some of the important characters are Farmer Brown, Duck, and the cows. Those are very important characters. The next thing I'm going to be telling is the problem. What is the problem in the story? Yes, the big problem is that the cows got a hold of a typewriter and they were making demands to Farmer Brown. The next one is my book with a B on it. That's the beginning. What happened at the beginning? Yes, um, he Farmer Brown had cows that liked to type, didn't he? That is a problem. He could hear them go click, click, moo all day long. What about the middle? What happened in the middle? Yes, the cows demanded electric blankets for themselves and the hens. And they said, no milk, no eggs, unless you give us some electric blankets. Then what happened at the end of the story? Yes, Farmer Brown gave him, gave those cows and hens electric blankets and then Duck took the <laughs> typewriter, didn't he? And they asked for a diving board, those ducks. Oh, it seems like the end of the book, there was a whole new problem. Now at the bottom, what is the solution? So we have to make sure our solution matches our problem. So the problem was that the cows were typing and making demands. So our solution, how did they fix that solution? Yes, they fi he fixed the solution by giving them the electric blankets and then they gave away the typewriter. But then a new problem happened where Duck and his friends, the ducks, now have a typewriter. So watch how I retell this story using all our information. The story Click Clack Moo takes place during the day and night on a farm. Some important characters in our story were the ducks, the cows, the hens, and of course Farmer Brown. The big problem in the story is that the cows know how to type and they're making demands. At the beginning of the story, we see Farmer Brown upset because his cows can type. And they're saying they won't give him milk. In the middle of the story, the hens join the cows and they're demanding electric blankets for hens and cows um, or else no eggs or no milk. So at the end, the ducks get a hold of that typewriter, don't they? And they ask for a diving board for their pond. The solution to Farmer's Brown his first problem, the big problem of the story, is that he gives them electric blankets in exchange for the typewriter. Now that I retold you this story, I want you to try to use your retelling ribbon and retell click clack moo cows that type to someone near you. It can be an adult or maybe a friend. Have fun!